What's going on YouTube back once again in the shed and I welcome you to yet another review. Thank you for joining me. Friends and frenemies. Um yeah, autumn getting a bit colder. My favourite time of year to be honest. This is how I how I like it. But um yeah. Had a bit of a funny one. I was in the shop today. You know, like when you lock eyes with someone and you look at them and they keep looking at you and I'm thinking, I know you from somewhere. And then, anyway, this geezer gets served, goes outside. I go out, don't lock my bike and he's there, I'm in a fag. And he says, I know you from somewhere. And I'm going, yeah, I know you, but I can't place it. Anyway, after a bit of back and forth, penny drops. 20 years ago, when I was 18, he was in the same jail as me. We both come in in reception at the same time. And uh, we started chatting and, you know, talking about some of the characters that we met when we were there. And he reminded me of a story, right? <laughs> we forgot about this. Anyway. Picture it. I'm 18. Pretty naive. First time in a proper jail like this. And in Red and Nick, it's like one of them old jails. It's like if you've ever seen the sort of, um, you know, Porridge or Bad Girls on UK TV. It's like that. The prison was built in like the early 18... No, I think it's 1844, 45, something like that it was built in. And, uh, you know, so it's all big fucking big metal doors and brickwork and, you know, netting between the landings and gates and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, the way the doors were, they they had a big hinge on them so they could open both ways. So you couldn't barricade yourself in, but it left a big crack along the hinge. So even if they took, shut your flap and all that, you could still see through the crack and see what was going on. Anyway, um, so I'm sat talking to the fellow that's been tooed up with me. He's from Bath. And we're just waffling a bit, you know, just trying to kill time, really. And uh, this is after banger. And in each cell, you've got an electric uh, buzzer, emergency button. But you don't push that unless it's an emergency, because you're going to get in shit if you do. Anyway, so it's quite rare for these buzzers to go off. Anyway, buzzer goes off. Any sort of action like that, the whole wing's on it. Ooh, 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 bit of entertainment. Yeah, everyone's pushed up against the crack on the hinge of their metal door because you can just about see through the sliver. And there's doors on the opposite side of the wing to us. Yeah, so we've got perfect view. And, uh, you know, the buzz is going beep, 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 you know, like in a hospital, that kind of thing. And uh, you hear the screw come along. Ka-chink, 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 gate open. Chink, back down to the door. <coughs> Flap open. What? And you can hear the screw, but you can't hear the guy. He's just like, mm -hmm. and he's like, you what? Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> this is what the screw's like. You. He's gobsmacked, right? So then he gets on the radio, calls us the nurse and other screws and that so he can open the door because they won't do it on their own. Um, crack the door open. Nurses and that all go into the cell. They're back and forward, but you can't quite hear what's going on in the cell. Anyway, to us, this is all, like, amazingly funny and entertaining. We're all shouting stuff through the door and that. Trying to work out what's happened. Anyway, eventually he comes out. And when he comes out, he's all sort of sheepish and cowered over. And he's got like, he's got something in his hands covered up by a towel. And he's holding it like at his waist like this. And we're thinking, what the fuck's he doing? Like, what's he? And I mean, I thought he was carrying something hidden under, under his towel. Like, so anyway. 
they get taken off the landing, we don't get told no more, what happened, Gov, 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 what's going on, right, nothing, don't get told nothing, that's the end of it, he goes, but as these things happen, you find out what happened, now, on the wing, you've got these boilers, yeah, that you got to pull a tap, fill up your cup full of water, before you bang up, and on your canteen, you could buy one of them vacuum flasks. You know the ones with plastic and it's got glass inside, but like the glass is like double layered. Th thermos flask, yeah, but they're vacuum, you know, creates a vacuum, yeah? The guy's only gone and stuck his dick in it, ain't he? <laughs> he stuck his dick in it and then the fucking thing started to create a vacuum and then he couldn't pull it back. <laughs> He couldn't pull it back out, could he? So he's thinking, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, panicking like fuck. <laughs> and in the end, he's like the fucking... <laughs> you can imagine, the vacuum's pulling, it's pulling more blood into his member, which make it more swollen, which means he, he can't pull it out even more. And they ended up taking him to the hospital and they had to drill a hole in the end of it to release the... Pre the, 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 the end of the bottle, I mean, not his member. <laughs> Man, I honestly thought, what the fuck have I got myself into? <laughs> They're fucking nuts in here. Yeah. Old Dick Van Dyke got his duck dick stuck. I've got a few more stories I might tell you over the videos, <laughs> but for now, I'll let you settle on that one and chew that for a bit <laughs> and see if you recover. Anyway, this video's rolling on, so I better fucking crack into it, and I. Today, we are doing an American dry, sweet snuff strawberry by Herms or Swisher or I can't quite work it out but it says Herms and Swisher on the packet and it's strawberry dry snuff dry sweet snuff so let's uh have a go shall we um it, it comes in a uh, One set. I'm back. It comes in a, one of these sort of plastic tubs that the American snuffs like, you know. You pop them off. And let's crack into her and see what she's saying, shall we? Okay. It is part of the course of what you would expect from an American dry snuff, okay? It is very, very fine, very dry, and very pale, a very light pale brown. It's, um, yeah, it is dry as a bone, fine as fine can be, powdery, dusty. You know, you gotta be careful when you're taking this. It's um, it's definitely got the potential to choke you. Um, let's see what she's saying on the old uh, tin note, shall we? If I'm perfectly honest. It smells like most of the other American dry snuffs that I smell. Sweet. A sort of like barbecued, smoky smell. And kind of smells a bit dusty or musty or, you know, something like that. <laughs> But yeah, no strawberry. No. All right, let's jump into it and see what it's saying, yeah?
Yeah, it's quite fine and dusty. Sorry. Hiding under my hood. But it's, um, you know, it's getting a bit cold now. Okay, so. Yeah, it smells the same. I'm finding a few of these American ones that I've tried, especially the ones that aren't flavoured, they kind of all seem a bit samey, but it is sweet, smoky, sort of like a marinade burnt smell. You know, like, like, but not like burnt, like, black burnt. But you know, like, when you're cooking meat and the sweet marinade sort of starts just sort of crisping up. Smells like that to me. Um, I wouldn't say it smells of strawberry. But within that sort of barbecued marinade sort of smell it's kind of got a bit of a fruitiness to it but I wouldn't be able to tell you it was strawberry it's um it's got a bit of a burn on it it's definitely packing in the old vitamin N as they like to say It definitely, like, I don't know if it's because it's fine and it's, like, dusting up, but I can definitely sort of taste it down the back of my throat straight away. And it doesn't taste unpleasant. But I wouldn't say it tastes greatly different from, like, the... What was the other one I did? The Buttercup. And that Tuba Rose. It's got that same, like, background scent to it that's, like, a smoky, barbecue sort of... It smells nice. It's like, it smells like something you want to eat, you know? Like... Yeah, it's definitely got plenty of old, um... Plenty of the old neck. And, um... But it is definitely like a tricky one to take. Like you want to go careful. But it's all right. I'm going to put it in a good but not great category. Mainly because it just seems the same. More of the same, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, high nick, fine, like, like I said before, when it's that fine, though, part of what makes it feel high nick, I think, is the fact that it, the uptake is so quick, you know, like, because it's fine, and, and it's easier for the, the, the nicotine to, to, be absorbed into the capillaries and then get in your blood and get to your brain and whatnot. So, yeah, good but not great. It's not terrible. Like, if it was your first American snuff, or if that one was the first one that I tried, I probably would have gone, yeah, I recommend it. It's really nice. And, you know, because I've done a few already now, it just seems a bit samey. Seems the same as the rest. Apart from the fact that it's got very sort of slight fruitiness to it. I'll tell you what I was doing though. Was I was trying that old chewing a match. And dipping a match in it and sticking it in my gum. And you know what? That gave me a little bit of a, you know, nick to the brain feeling as well. So, you know, maybe worth a try. Maybe not.
yeah, there's not much else I can put to it, really, I don't think. It's all right. Bit of a disappointment, though. Because it wasn't bringing nothing new to the table, I guess. Probably should have tamped that first, but yeah. I've got a few other nicotine, uh, nicotine. I've got a few other American ones to do still, so and some of them look quite good, I think. So I'm looking forward to busting them out. Um, I'll try and find something else to say, but I don't think I've got a lot else, so I think I may as well just leave it there. Rabbit it on a bit enough. Rabbit it on enough already. So, okay, I'm going to leave it there. So, oh, actually, I'm not going to leave it there. <laughs> I do want to say thank you, because that last video I did, you know, did well. I've been off for a bit, so I wasn't expecting a lot, but... You know, it means a lot to me, like, when everyone reaches out and checks if I'm alright when I'm not posting, but, like, you know, to get a bit of sort of gratitude because I'm back and, you know what I mean, like, you make me feel wanted, which is more than my missus does sometimes, I tell you that much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there, so remember to tap pinch and two because that's three ingredients to your enjoyment and your enjoyment is all i got for you so remember to come back to the shed and until then i shall bid you farewell <music>